looking behind. What's up? There's a breakfast for you. So tasty. So tasty. Good morning, spider. Did you just get really cute? I think we better turn on the lights because I bet I bet you're gonna do adorable things. I'm gonna wanna take a picture and stuff. And it's gonna be too dark in there. Oh my gosh. Oh right, and I did this so that I can at Menards on all your home improvement needs.
guess I will pond that one a bit more. Okay, so, oh, are you trying to escape the camera? Oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're so cute. Did you um, enjoy watching um, Felicity stalk and, uh, and pounce on her kittens? Well, she didn't pounce on them, but she was stalking and, like, doing the butt wiggle and then charging and then they got bats they got bats instead of getting eaten are you stuck oh my gosh you're stuck it was pretty adorable pretty adorable it was last night close i, mm, I don't know what time it was sometime last night but it was very cute um, so, let's see, oh look there, you're getting your legs under you a little better, Felix. So, uh, lots going on, as always, around here. Look how fast that kid is, he's so fast. Um, but the big exciting news is that, I don't know if you guys remember, back in... I think it was in February we brought in Kestrel and then her two grown-up daughters um, Season and Shiver from the colony and we didn't know if uh, they were pregnant um, so we got ultrasounds done on all three of them none of them showed up as pregnant and um, so we um, thought that Season and Shiver would get um, home a home faster if, if uh, they went to laps. And so uh, we sent them over there and then we kept Kestrel here because she was um, enjoying being, she kind of was the house cat for a, a couple of weeks and then she found an awesome home. Um, and uh, Season and Shiver ended up getting adopted out um, but they were adopted to a home where there were kids and um, they did not do well at all. They were very stressed and um, they ha were a bit anxious to begin with. And then um, being at the shelter and then at a, at a house with kids um, and it just didn't work. It didn't work out. And so they ended up back at laps. Um, and they've been at laps now for a long time. And um, when I heard that they were back, I offered to take them back here and try to find them a home. Um, uh, but but um, laps thought they could probably find someone. Um, but it's been quite a while and um, they're pretty full over there and um, the girls have some issues from kind of anxiety and stress and uh, it seems like they're kind of regressing in their socialization and not doing super well. So um, I said we would take them back here um, and so I was thinking about what we were going to do with them and what kind of home they would need and that, you know, it was going to be a challenge because it's, they're, you know, again, two very bonded adults, but they have special dietary needs and, um, um, like season when she gets really stressed out, gets diarrhea and doesn't use the litter box. And so, you know, they're kind of 
um, they've been having some challenges. Um, and uh, so, um, but then I was thinking, who do we know who um, was looking for two cats and is uh, totally willing to do special needs and is totally awesome and it's Marlene obviously so uh, I contacted Marlene just hold on because Felix is being ridiculous and um, so um, so I'm super excited because it seems like this is all working out the way it was meant to be. Um, so we're going to take season and ship, we're bringing them here um, so that they can have a, a quieter environment. Um, and then on Friday, <clears throat> we're going to send them out to Winnipeg. And they're going to great get have an awesome home, it's going to be quiet. They're going to get, well, I have, I'm so confident that they're going to just blossom and and um be so happy and loved and and it's the perfect situation they um didn't do great with other cats um they didn't do great with kids so they were really specific about a home that they would where they would really thrive and um so it was just it just kind of was perfect so um very grateful to marlene for once again stepping up for a pair of cats from the colony um, that had special needs and, you know, totally different special needs than what Neelix and Maribel had, but, um, they've been waiting a long time and, um, so now they only have to wait till Friday. And, um, so, uh, Suzanne and Alicia are going to fly them out because you can only take one cat per person. So they're spending their Friday um, traveling to deliver some cats. Suzanne has spent a lot of time with them at LAPS, um, so they know her. And um, so I think they'll be, they'll do really well traveling. Um, I'm not worried about them getting through security like, like I was with Neelix and Maribel and um, so it's very exciting. So it took, a, it's been a lot of uh, trying to figure out logistics, traveling and all that stuff, but um, just because we need two people to deliver them and, you know, working out schedules and when Marlene's available and, but it's all worked out now. It's official. I booked the tickets this morning. Um, Suzanne and Alicia are excited. Marlene's excited. And um, so once again, it takes it takes a tiny village. And so um, Amanda was we had all of the snugglers were trying to help figure out how we would get them there. And um, so it's really this is really great news for them. And now it's going to free up it's going to free up some space at laps, which is good for them. And um, it's going to be great for Season and Shiver to have um, some stability and to finally have a home. And um, so I'm pretty excited about this one. Because I was, you know how I, I always worry about when you take in a cat, you know, because we're not a shelter, so we don't have the public coming through. So it's, it's, you know, it's one thing when we have kittens and people get to know them for a while and then um, we don't have trouble getting applications, but um, with the adult cats, it's, it's a lot harder. Um, so, you know, and the longer we have cats here, the, the more, um, you know, the, the fewer cats we can bring in that need to come in. So it's always, uh, it's always tricky. But I'm looking in there. I know. You're so cute. So, that's a big relief. I, 
and uh, yeah, I think I think that they will do. I think they've just been needing stability and um, you know quiet and you know not having people and dogs and other cats and so much going on and being shuffled around and in and out of a home and you know it's a lot it's a lot for anyone to deal with so I'm really looking forward to them finally getting their furry tail ending they're not feral um, they were they were uh, some of the some of the cats were taken in by the neighbors um, and so I think they were actually living inside with them um, at least for a period because they smelled like smoke when they first came in and uh, so they're quite sweet and friendly they're just um, oh look at you they're just they have they have some anxiety related um, behavior and um, diarrhea and stuff and they're on a special diet so I'm hoping that stuff will clear up Marlene is fully um, on board and uh, so season and shiver are both um, daughters of Kestrel who we had in in February um, Kestrel does not have a Facebook page but um, she has a wonderful home and um, they had like I said they came from the neighbor who was moving and um, they had tried to help as many cats as they could but they they weren't like their pets they were just taking them in to try to keep them safe and so they couldn't take them when they moved and so they were hoping to find they, they didn't want to have to put them back outside and so that's they contacted us and so we brought the three of them in and then um, we thought that uh, they would find a home faster at laps so that's where they went and then they did find a home and then it wasn't the right home and so they got returned and then they there's just been a lot of activity over there so um, um, and it's always it's it's hard under the best of circumstances to find a home for bonded adult cats um, so anyway very very grateful to Marlene and um, very grateful to the snugglers um, particularly Suzanne and Alicia who are gonna give up their Friday to do a day trip to Winnipeg and back to deliver them and um, that's pretty exciting pretty exciting um, Kestrel was never at laps uh, she was here the whole time um, she there are pictures of her if you go to Facebook and you search for um, if you search for Kestrel Tiny Kittens, does it come up? Uh, oh yeah, there's a post. March 3 on Tiny Kittens, there's a post with her picture. Here, I'll show you. I will show you on the camera. Oh, there she is, if you remember her. Whoops, oh no. She's so cute. Yeah, so we did, yep, exactly, we did, we did Kestrel's ultrasound when, say, uh, it was, uh, it would have been Neelix and Savina, 
and kestrel. Oh, uh. I think that was that. Yeah, and we had actually done Kestrel and Season and Shiver. We did three ultrasounds when we brought them in, and they came back negative. And um, and then we did Kestrel again just to make sure um, before we adopted her out, before we sent her for her spay. Um. Oh my goodness! That was it. Felicity just kicked the camera over. She kangaroo kicked it. You did, didn't you? Oh, so cute. Who is so cute in there? Who is so cute? So that's good. Two more colony cats. Oh, right, and I think, you're right, I think we brought them, did we bring them to laps the day that we trapped Savina and Elian and, who did we, we did a trapping day, and we were expecting to send them all for spades and neuters, and then that's when there happened, to, Dr. Wiggling happened to be there, and she um, checked and Eliane was not pregnant and Savina was pregnant and that's how we ended up with her here, um, which we had not been planning on. That's what started our whole spring fling. Yeah, so, so we had brought, so Season and Shiver had been here with Kestrel. We did ultrasound, we had them here for a week and then, um, they seemed super adoptable, and so that's why we sent them. That's what. So then we brought them to labs. We did our trapping day, and then we ended up bringing Savina back. Surprise! Surprise! Pregnant Feral, who was super, super panicky, but did really well. Oh, why are you so cute? Oh my gosh! Look at that little face. All of my pictures are, are blurry. A kitten in motion tends to stay in motion. Right, Mama? So, yeah, so, um, February seems like forever ago. Right, yeah, I did, we had secret cats because we weren't sure. Yeah, and then I went out and got me like the next day. Yep. Yes, I'm glad that we all remember a little bit of things we put it together. <laughs> so thank you, Marlene, and thank you. So Marlene is so awesome because this is not this is like the third time that she's stepped up for um, our colony cats, and it's just it's been hard the last couple of times just because her being so far away has been um, really a challenge, and she's been so gracious about. Um, having other people swoop in at the last minute and uh, adopt her cats, so um, I'm I'm excited that finally we get to send some that are they're not going to have um, any extreme difficulty traveling. Huh. So that's exciting. So that's been that's been um, in the works for the last couple of days, and a big relief to have worked out. Um, and then we have another, we have another, um, very exciting announcement, but I think I'm going to wait on that one until that one, um, we're not quite, it, we don't have all the pieces in place yet. And so, um, I want to wait till all the pieces are in place because as we've seen a million times, things can, things can, uh, go differently than anticipated at the last minute and so we need to I'm just gonna wait but there is more excitement coming hopefully um, we'll know more maybe tomorrow but so there's lots of stuff in the works
That's right, this is a cliffhanger, a tiny cliffhanger. <laughs> I don't want to tell you because then, th no, it, it's not, it doesn't have to do with Cassidy. Um, the glitter question is an interesting one. I, uh, I don't know. I think you have to see them in the sunlight to see the glitter because I'm, I don't really see it looking, looking at, but I don't exactly know what to look for either. So, um, I will try to, it's really dark and cold today. So, um, but next time I see her in some sunlight, I'll see if I can see the glitter. It apparently doesn't photograph, you can't photograph it. I don't know if it's like the green flash in Hawaii, but we'll see. Yeah, so very exciting. Uh, the kittens have whiskers. They're just, they're just, um, light colored and hard to see. Oh, look at that little family. Look how sweet they are. They're so sweet. Uh, so Season and Shiver are coming uh, tomorrow because I've got to get uh, the room set up and some stuff done. There's a little more disinfecting to do and then I um, have to get the room set up. Um, so I'm going to do that today. Um... Someone else asked something that I forgot. I promptly forgot. Um, Galico, I keep trying to feed to feed Galico tuna because I think he's so adorable. Um, he's he is not not into it just yet. Um, he looks at me like I'm crazy. Like why would I want to eat that tuna out of your hand, predator? Um, Macy, Macy and Starling both eat out of my hand. Uh, Macy's more confident um, and more playful. Starling has not played yet that I've seen. Um, Macy's definitely still nursing kittens. Um, she had like slobber all over her, kitten slobber all over her milk bar yesterday. Um, so she can't come in yet. Um, I can get, it's hard to tell with Starling because she's a bit fluffier. She's, she's kind of like has Skye's fur, which is a bit fluffier. Um, and it's hard to see. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I was trying to feel your ribs. Yes. What? Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh, she's so cute. <sighs> um. I do think Starling is related to Sky for sure. Um, the property owner has seen Starling with kittens, um, but he said he's not able to get anywhere close to them. Um, and they're, they're older now. Um, yeah, the thermal camera has been useful for sure. I lent it to, um, Dawn, uh, 
I don't know if you remember her, um, she was out of town and her, they have someone renting their basement suite and they, um, that person had a friend over and that, the friend let their cat out, uh, while they, and then while they were on vacation and then, um, he unfortunately has not come back and it's been probably three months now. Um, so, but anyway, I lent it to her to use to search for him and, um, she currently has it. Um, but it is actually quite useful. So yeah, uh, so the property owner um, said that that uh, they look actually quite healthy, and um, from what he can see, but he hasn't been able to get anywhere near them. So um, we'll see if they show up. It's possible that once she comes in, they will start coming to the feeding station, um, and then we can get them. We haven't had any kittens show up yet this year. I think they started showing up uh, early August. Maybe it was late July, but I'm not sure. Starling, Starling was the first kitten we ever saw at the feeding station. Um, she was probably five months old when she showed up, four or five months old. Oh my gosh. Why are you so cute? Oh, bite her. <laughs> bite your mama and you get extra bathing. Um I don't know I don't know how many he Apparently they're all ginger. Yeah, exactly. They learned their um, their evading their evasion skills from their mama. Go go. So um, what else? Um, yeah. So yesterday when I was there, there were quite a few cats. Uh, and Starling Macy. And there's a black mama cat that is new. She that's not been cataloged. That is um that was there. So we're definitely getting down to the very end, which is good. those squirming polka dotted kittens. Macy hasn't been in here at all. She hasn't, she's fairly new to the feeding station. Just showed up like mm, after February. This is after when that uh, we were full up of pregnant cats. That's when she showed up for the first time. So,
So I think that's it. So very exciting news about Season and Shiver. Um, oh, like that. Hi, Mama. Look how cute. Oh, I need to pick this one up. Oh, hi. No. They're at the age where it's time to start getting used to being picked up. Let's go see what that noise was, should we? Let me like come with us because I told you. Oh, that. Oh, did you lose power? No. Battery backup cycle like for some reason. But then we look how brave you're being. I know. I know. Look, I stole her, but she's right here. Oh, Felix, where are you going? <laughs> Felix just escaped. He just escaped. She's got a good, a good grip on my hand. Oh my gosh, the kittens are going wild. Oh no, you're supposed to be the quiet one. Let's see. Oh yeah, you do have a few whiskers that are... You do have a few... He has a few whiskers on his right side that are chewed off. But he has all of his left whiskers. Maybe mommy wants you only to turn left. Plop! I did get them very dirty. Very dirty. <gasps> oh, like this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why are you so cute? <gasps> oh, look at that belly. right out of there. <laughs> oh, you just got barked at. You just got barked at, mister. <laughs> what are you doing? You need me to go lick the rug? Keiko looks like she's gonna get you, Felix. You better watch out. You better watch out, she's gonna get you.
to be ferocious when your your mommy keeps giving you a bath. Keiko will bite anything near her face. Oh no, someone fell over on their belly. Look at her go. Ooh. is purring now too. Mama just barked at you. It's Keiko. Keiko is making him squeal. Because she's biting him. Oh! 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 Look at that. They're getting ferocious. Mommy's going to come break it up. Break it up. Oh, mama. Mm -hmm. Oh. How can you like the ring? Oh. It's getting so much exercise. Get him, Keiko. Get him. Get him. Here's my tripod. Maybe I'll do a little periscope. A little periscope action. Oops.
probably know they're fine. <laughs> Sleep if I start this broadcast. You just give me a little sleep. There we go. Hi. What happened to the pouncing? Do Tavin do all the pouncing? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, you want to watch out for this one. She's very ferocious. Oh, she will bite you. Right on your ear. Look at you. You're working on your muscles. Are you making some muscles? Turning your pudge into muscles? So that'll work. <laughs> so this is Felix and Keiko. Uh, if you're just tuning in on Periscope. We rescued their mama, Felicity, from a backyard breeder where she was not receiving humane care. And uh, they're three weeks old. Where are you going? their mama purring. She purrs all the time. Um, so mama Felicity was pretty sick when we got her but uh, she's doing much better now. She's very happy as you can hear. <laughs> She will never have to have kittens again. Her her baby factory days are over. Which is wonderful for her. And she will get to be adopted into a wonderful home. Oh Oh, happy. <laughs> um, AKC or CKC, I'm assuming those are uh, accreditations with um, the breeding registries um, because these guys came from a backyard breeder there are no papers um, we don't have any information about their lineage or anything like that um, but we don't we don't plan on breeding them um, because we're a rescue so they're all going to be spayed and neutered and adopted into loving homes as pets to people who know what they're getting into with Bengal cats. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, smush. We are located um, in Fort Langley, British Columbia, just north of, uh, just across the border from Seattle. You can find out more about our rescue and what we do at tinykittens.com. You can also watch these guys on our 
Oh, that sounds like she switched the camera. On our, we have a 24-7 live stream where um, you can watch these guys live 24-7. They're pretty much adorable all, all the time. So, um, not just when they're on Periscope. Mama keeps them very clean. Very clean. So if you're interested in adopting, you can go to tinykittens.com slash adopt. That has all the information. Um, I think uh, a purebred bangle is expensive. Um, and